Linux is a very popular platform for Java development. In this video, we will see how to install Java on a Linux server. We will specifically install OpenJDK, which is a free and open source implementation of Java. Installation of Java should be exactly the same. Next, we will add it to the path so that it can be accessed from the terminal. First, let's go to our browser and type download OpenJDK. Let's click on openjdk.java.net. Under the download, let us click jdk.java.net slash 16. Here, there are several downloads for various platforms. We will download the tar slash zzip option. Let's save the file. All right, now let's go to the downloads folder. Here is the zzip file. Double click it. And now click on extract. I like to keep my installs in the documents slash tools folder. All right, it's extracted. Here is the folder. Let's click on it. Here we see the bin folder. Let me open up a terminal window here. At this time, if I do java hyphen version, it says java not found and it also gives me options to run some commands like openjdk hyphen 9 hyphen jre hyphen headless. But I want to install the latest version of java, which I downloaded. So let's clear the screen. Now let's add the java we downloaded to our path so that we can access it from anywhere. Let me do cd dollar home. Now let's open the bash rc file by doing vi dot bash rc. Instead of the vi editor, if you have another favorite editor, please go ahead and use it. We will add the path to the java executable here. So let's get the path by clicking on bin, going to java and then right click, click properties. From here, copy the path to this file. Now let's go back to the bash rc file, type i to get in insert mode. And now let's put here export path equal to and paste the path to our java executable followed by a colon and then dollar $path. Press escape key to come out of the insert mode. Now press shift colon and type wq to save and exit the file. Now we have to reload the bash rc file in this terminal. To reload it, we type source.bashrc. The new bash rc settings are loaded. Now if we do java hyphen version, we see that it now gives us openjdk version 16. All right, now let's open another terminal window and type java hyphen version and we see that the settings are persistent in our environment. We see JDK 16. In this video, we saw how to install Java and add it to our path so that it is accessible from the environment. Thanks for watching.